Hello there, Stacy Drake. And here we are crossing the Nassau Boulevard Bridge on the main line. Well, not really. Here we are at Tuckahoe. <laughs> also, Marijuana Avenue, Garden City Park. But I want to talk to you about the discrimination issue on like when there's rail work on Long Island. We all know that pretty soon we're going to be seeing tra track work on the Atlantic branch, but they get shuttle buses, while the people on the LRR main line, they don't get shuttle buses. They just don't, because LRR thinks that they don't matter because of how diverse the, and, who they, and their demographic. <laughs> They just don't think they matter. I'm walking into the Maryland Avenue Railroad Station. And I just don't like what's going on on Long Island. It's causing towns to be redlined between Floral Park and Hicksville. Why can't they just have a bus between Floral Park and Hicksville during this event? <laughs> when it's on the main line. Why can't they? Just because they're a certain demographic. Just because. I mean, this is discrimination. This needs to stop. And nice bus isn't, like a, isn't a reliable service that connects with, and it doesn't connect up with the mainline trains at, at Hicksville. This is causing the towns to go downhill. Everybody's going to the South Shore. Where the Long Beach trains in in one weekend soon will be they'll be running on to Freeport on the Babylon branch. On the pretty little Babylon branch. I do feel bad for them in one way because they only get hourly service now because of a new schedules because of the pandemic, but so does the main line, well, except for Mineola and Hicksville, but these issues must end, mm -hmm. and everybody should get shuttle buses, when compare the distance of Westbury to Garden City, when compared to Oceanside to Lindbrook, you'll see that Westbury is, needs it more, but I think everybody should get it. <laughs> everybody deserves the shuttle buses. Everybody deserves equal treatment. But we're not getting that along on the middle of the island just because of the demographic. Just because the people are not finance professionals. They don't have white skin, well, many of them. It's just because. <laughs> And then, they're, and then they're denied access to housing on the South Shore because of their demographic, because they're not, because they're not white, because they're not, because, or because they're disabled, or both. I mean, I'm not, I would not be allowed on the South Shore either, just like Pine Power Lie, if what he's saying is correct. So, bottom line is you have to provide shuttle buses. What, whatever happened to the shuttle buses that happened that went on that line before? Like the ones when the Ron Kalkama line was being double tracked. When, uh, when there was actually work between Floral Park and Hicksville, between New Ride Park and Hicksville on the main line, there, there used to be shuttle buses. Whatever happened to those? And then, during the committee meetings, Hein Powell I mentions that there's the homeless issue in Mineola and Hicksville, that they completely ignore him and say that we're working on that problem for the pretty little Babylon branch. That's right, the Babylon branch. Well, the main line has it much worse. I think we need to find these people homes Unlike, and I don't think the same way as Pine Power Ally does on this issue. He thinks they should just go. 
but I think that they need homes and they need nice, they need treatment and help. <laughs> So that's my take on this like whole mainline discrimination thing. Also, buses will replace trains on Far Rockaway branch between Valley Stream and Jamaica. West Hempstead trains will be extended to Jamaica. Which is actually a good thing for the West Hempstead branch. I think the West Hempstead branch needs better treatment too. They should run trains at least every hour going to Penn Station. I mean, they are electric trains, so why can't they run to the city? <laughs> That's gonna do it for today. Bye.